Hello, welcome back everyone. It is time for another exciting Liquid Crystal playthrough video from yours truly, the Killer Nacho. Alright, so here we are, final in Cinderbar Island. Wow, well, I was close. I stopped it just in time. Who was this guy? Oh, right, it's Axel. What's up, buddy? Finding nothing, huh? That sucks. Huh, I wonder what Saturn was talking about. Hey, what's up, Blue? You were a champion for a very short time. Oh man! Well, that was what happened when a volcano erupts and kills everyone. I see. But I haven't fought Blaine yet! I need to at least fight Blaine before I fight you, Blue. Eh, whatevs. Let's heal up my pokes, and we can find that... That evil blame. Or whatever. Um, I guess we can't go that way. So I know Axel's, I mean, apparently looking around vol this uh, volcano for something, but I don't see anything. And uh, apparently neither does I. Who knows? Who knows? Oh no, I'm being attacked by a tentacle. I'll run away. And set up a repel. Cause I don't remember what I'm supposed to be doing. Uh, Blaine moved in the original gold silver crystal. Blaine moved to uh, you know over here, Sea Form Islands, but I can't get over there. How very awkward. Hmm. Not quite sure. Oh. Oh, it looks like, uh, there's a cave here. A secret cave. Blue is guarding it. Blue must be a member of this evil organization. I knew it. Oh, no, not you guys again. I don't want to bow to my masters. Whatever, here's a metric. You guys are so bad at this, it's even... It's not even funny anymore. Whatever. Let's, uh, go into someone with some earthquakes. And he's gonna try to bite me with his manectric. Which is not threatening, so. And he's gonna charge up a bit before he dies. That's uh, something you can do before you die, is charge. Oh, so that is a dead manectric, and I believe he has another Pokemon in reserve here. And it is an Electrobuzz! Or Electrobuzz. Yeah, it's gonna die just the same, because, um, yeah, using electric types against a Pokemon with Earthquake is suboptimal. Although, Thunder can hit me, and that does actually sting. Because I am not actually a ground type here. Stoned is just rock. Just, a, just, he's just stoned. He's, he's not dirty, he's just stoned. Alright, so, let's, uh, heal him up a bit, because, oops. Oh, look, I did hit the right Pokemon. I thought I hit Burninator for a second. And, uh, my Repel wore off. And I probably want to put it back on, because... Wait, you call me Babe? Did you just call me Babe? I... Just, why would... I, I don't know. Man, he's just gonna hit me with a thunder, and that, that's gonna probably... Ow! That's not cool, man! You just... You hurt... You killed Dustbuster! Well, not kill, because my Pokemon don't die. Your Pokemon die. Mine just faint. At least that's what I like to imagine sometimes. I'm, like, killing all the Pokemon. <laughs> Whenever I do a, um, what is it called? Oh, another Jolteon. When I ever do a Nuzlocke, I like to pretend I'm killing the opponent's Pokemon. It's always fun. And I should have switched or something, but I did not. I took a thunder like a beast, except I died. Um, okay, Burninator, your turn. You can probably just Burninate this thing, right? Uh, like, Flamethrower. Flamethrower is a good move. Are you just going to Pin Missile me? I resist that. I don't know why you just continue using Thunder. You probably would have been better off. Oh well, it's gonna be a 2 KO. I don't think he can hit 1 8 KO me with Thunder unless uh, he crits again, which would be lame. But he's doing. Ow, stop it! Jeez, what a jerk. I never get this lucky with Thunder. I always miss. Never do I get a crit, never do I get a Parahax, man. Some people, some, some computer players get all the luck. Ah, uh, let's heal up my team. Um, yeah, reviving things like Dustbuster and Stoned. You guys had to faint. Pathetic. No, I shouldn't say that. You have to be nice to your Pokemons. That's what Professor Oak says. 
You have to treat him with trust and love. That's why that's why Blue did not stay champion. Ah, I like the Gen 3 music here. Wait, what the heck is a Team Rocket member doing here? But, but, I thought this was... Oh, right, they're apparently allying. That's not good. If they ally, then we'll have double the evil grunts to kill. Because they're all pathetic. Must you really paralyze my Pokemon? Why do you even have an Execute? Like, just why? It, it's incredibly weak. And it doesn't even have any good moves. You're just using Confusion. But why do you still have it? Why is it not an Executor? This guy apparently does... He likes to smash down the B button, apparently. I, I uh... I don't respect that at all. I'm not gonna lie. Ah, so let's just go into Burnator, because I don't feel like uh, waiting for uh, Dustbuster finally being able to uh, actually make a move. So there we go. Uh, Burninator's now level 64, and uh, here comes an Executor. I'm just gonna stay in and kill it. Burninate it. Goodbye. Nice knowing you. Not really. That is a dead Executor. And I have defeated Rocket Executive, and he apparently knew he would lose. So, I don't know why he even bothered at all. Yeah, neither do I, bro. And another rocket grunt. Captain Slug, Scourge of Sinnoh, they call me. Uh, okay? Wait, what about C Team Rocket's not even in Sinnoh? You have an Octillery, that's cool. I suppose. Well, I'm just going to hurt it now. Oh, that actually did more damage than I would have liked. Gosh darn ya, Octillery. It's going to death. Stop doing powerful bubble beam attack, apparently. Ah, I'm just going to eat you. Nom 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 nom. Oh, I completely eat the Octillery to death. Well, okay. I have one HP that I didn't regain from that. Here comes Tentacruel. So, uh, let's go into Kissy, so I can Psychic it. Seems like the thing to do. Goodbye, Tentacruel. And that is that. A work of fiction or something. So apparently he was lying that whole time, and apparently I can skip these guys if I wanted to, but... Well, uh, let's fight them all. I heard you like Pokemans. <laughs> okay, I'll, I'll admit, the uh, Team Saturn people are, are somewhat pretty funny with what they say. Anyway, that Nether King is weak against Surf, so let's just do that, and of course he has Double Kick, and that's going to sting. I'm hoping uh, it'll be a 2 KO. Come on, Dustbuster. You have it in ya, I know you do. Oh, no! Oh, but he's just going to use Poison Sting. Okay, that's cool. Actually, let's go for the Mud Slap. I know he's going to heal, so at least if I go for a Mud Slap, lower his accuracy a bit. And then I can get a 2 hit KO off uh, with uh, Surf, hopefully. If he doesn't decide to use Double Kick, or if he misses. Come on, Dustbuster, you can do it. I'm not going to use an item. I'm not going to be... Oh, that might sting too. Oh, but I live! Dustbuster's so cute, and it paid off right there. That is a dead Nido King, or Nido King, or whatever it's called. And here comes a Nido Queen, and this time I'm going to switch it out. Let's go into Ginger Carp. Should be able to handle it pretty nicely. Ah, but first I get the Intimidate off, and then I'll just go for a Waterfall to kill it. Goodbye, Nido Queen. Oh, whoa, it survives! And got off a superpower, which is not even normal effective, because um, I am part flying, so... That was a pretty failed use of a turn there. So that is a dead Knight of Queen engine. And, of course, Poison Barb is going to activate. <laughs> He's like, oh, noes! Well, I think some of their um, comments are pretty funny. I have to admire the hack creator sometimes for his uh, internet references. It's kind of like an... Al <laughs> I've noticed that Team Saturn is kind of like a group of internet trolls. That's, that's pretty much what they are. Oh, no. Is this really... Jesse and James? Uh, it is. Jesse... Jess and Jim? I guess that's one way to say James. It's supposed to be Jesse and James, not Jesse and... whatever. I don't even care. Anyway... What to do to these guys? Let's Surf and then, uh, Flamethrower. <laughs> so they have Ekans and Coughing, which is, uh, Jesse and James, um... Pokemon in the show, so... That's one way... And look, they even have an Arbuck. So I guess they have the evolved versions too. Not quite uh, canonical from the anime, but whatever. Oh no, Destiny Bomb. That's gonna be annoying, actually. So let's kill the Arbuck first. 
You know what? I can actually muds. No, it's muds. No, he's just gonna die. So it's a strength and flamethrower. That little uh, internal dialogue there, and I even burned it, so I don't even need to strength it, but I did. So it's dead. Eliminated one person. Oh no. Oh, because it's considered a single trainer. That's probably why. Usually in these types of things, um, they're conti they are considered different trainers, but I guess this one's considered the same one. So we're getting fighting, wheezing, and coughing at the same time. And we almost... I would have killed them, but... Oh man, stop, stop, why? What are you doing? Just why? What's with the Destiny Bond? Is that the only move this guy knows? What a jerk. Switch out. I don't want to deal with this Destiny Bond crap. Of course he's going to use... I, I, Ah, oh, that's right, he's gonna use a Hyper Potion for one of his turns. Well, you can get the Intimidate off on their, uh, Pokemon, though. And the Coughing's still gonna go Destiny Bond. So is the Weezing's Destiny Bond still up? I don't think so. Because the Weezing apparently spent a turn to heal, so his Destiny Bond should be down. So, uh, let's try to kill it. Not to mention, it would be on my other two Pokemon, so I can safely kill the Weezing now. So there we go. And, uh, this coughing is still going to be a pain and use Destiny Bond. Should I sacrifice? No. I'm not going to sacrifice one of my pokes. No, I'm going to be, uh, I'm going to Shadow Ball and then switch out. Maybe force him to use another potion. Let's see how that turns out. Or Gengar's just going to... Oh, oops. Or Gengar's just going to bite the bullet. And it is because... Aw, oh, dang it. Whatever. I'll just revive him. Jerk. Can't believe... Is that, like, the only moves they know? Destiny Bond? Apparently. Jesse and James, you have a very odd Pokemon choice. Or Pokemon moveset choice. Teaching a po both of your your coughing and wheezing. That's pretty funny. I mean, I, apparently, they taught him Destiny Bombs and then went to the move to Leader and deleted every other move just to be annoying. Oh, man. They're arguing. Wait, what is Ginger doing here? Wait. McDonald's takeaway in Celadon City? Oh, they're arguing about McDonald's cheeseburgers. Uh, I don't know what I'm watching. And apparently Axel is now a member of them, too? I'm just going to absorb this and let you guys absorb it as well. Son. Oh, now, now Axel decides to uh, step up and do something heroic. I see. So he's um, apparently in Liquid Crystal. Uh, Ginger is the son of Russell. That doesn't make sense, but okay. It's supposed to be the son of Giovanni. Aha! And apparently they're still sleeping, so you can't catch a Pokemon when they're sleeping. Like, if a uh, Snorlax is sitting there, you can't throw a Master Ball at it until you wake it up for some reason. Then you can throw a Master Ball at it, even though it, even if it went to sleep again using Breast. I don't even know where I'm going with that, but let's fight you again. Kick the crap out of you like I always seem to. Well, you get some Mud Slaps up, so your accuracy isn't very good. Even though apparently you're still hitting every single move. And I do know that Ampharos does have the annoying static fit ability, so let's go into Stone, because uh, Earthquake is not a contact move, even though you're still hitting. Stop hitting me, you jerk. Be Earthquake to the face, and he apparently wants to lower my speed of the, one of the slowest Pokemon in the game. And he was already probably faster with his, with, with his entire team. I don't think he has a team member that uh, can outspeed Stone, but apparently it needs to be even slower. No, I'm just going, staying in with Stone. I'm going to show you exactly why you don't build a team of entirely electric types. Oh, well, you also have Earthquake. This is awkward. And you critically hit me. What a jerk thing to do. Well, your Electabuzz is dead, at least. And here comes Electrode. Um, I guess I'll switch out, because... No, actually, this is dumb. What did I... I, I misclicked and hit Ginger Carp. Hopefully he doesn't have an electric move, even though he probably does. Yeah, this is dumb, I'm switching. No, I don't... You know what? Uh, I'm, I'll, oh, well then. That was pretty awesome. 
Because I guess he was in the effect of Intimidate, didn't even do anything. So, uh, yeah, I'll take for that for what it's worth, but I'm not staying in against Jolteon. Let's just go into Burnator to Burnate it a bit. And, uh, apparently Jolteon... Jolteon can't even learn Earthquake! I'm, like, 99% sure Jolteon can't learn Earthquake. Cheater. A cheater, man. Man. I see how you've, uh, somehow you, uh, became, rose to the leader of this evil organization by cheating everything. Unfortunately, that light screen is going to reduce the damage of my Shadow Ball, and pretty much all of my moves. Jerk. Ha! Miss with Thunder. That's what happens to me all the time. And I'm still able to kill you with Sludge Bomb. Ah, uh, Death is gonna grow to level 65, and that's pretty cool. And here comes a Minetric. Um, yeah, my team is actually kind of injured. Bet Kissy can handle it, though. Go ahead, Kissy. Show him exactly why you kiss all the time. Well, let's use Lovely Kiss. He's gonna howl a little bit to raise his attack, but then he's going to take a Night Night. <laughs> night Night Kiss. Uh, and of course he has full heals. Whatever. Let's kill him with Psychic. And, uh, well, that was a critical hit, so that is dead Manectric. Good game, Russell. Yeah, it is not your day, it seems. That was a totally epic battle. Don't you forget it. Uh-huh. I don't even know what's going on. That's right. You're not interested in... in team uh, domination any longer. So, uh, what's going on? Team Saturn. Yay, it's being disbanded. And apparently, uh, my rival is now the leader of Team Rocket. Cool. I, okay, so now there's Team Galactic, and he's gonna join them. Uh... What is your master plan? Well, okay then. Did that... <laughs> yep, they quit on you. Later. Well, at least Team Saturn's gone. Uh, the Grunts had different plans, I guess? Well, I never saw that coming in a million years. Should we even bother fighting them? I don't even know. Nope, they just flew away. I didn't know they could fly. Uh-huh. Later? Okay, then. Well... That was a interesting, uh, whatever that was. Now we can hopefully leave, and... Oh, no, there is Pokemon here. Gravelers, level 19! Run away! Using run away, even though I could have ran away anyway. There's those super repels when you need them. I don't want to be fighting any more level 19 Gravelers. God forbid that. Alright, so, let's, uh, save my progress here. So let me, uh, no, one second for you guys. And that's it. Checkpoint reached. I think that checkpoint is the word I'm going to use. Let's actually talk to these people who are apparently um, chilling in a Pokemon Center of a destroyed city. Oh, that's very sad. Sea Form Islands Cave. Can I even get there now? No, I, how do I get through? I mean, I just don't... Where am I supposed to go? How am I supposed to get there? I mean, do I have to go back through here? I don't, I'm not really sure how to get there. I mean, it would, it would make sense, right? It would make sense if the the way. Oh man, there's a guy mowing outside. I don't know if you guys can hear that. That is really, really loud. Well, uh, try to ignore that if you can hear it. Do I have to go through this cave? I thought I didn't see another entrance. Maybe it's hidden. Oh, I really don't remember. The only other thing I can think of is going to sea form from uh, Fuchsia. Alright, so apparently this is not the way to go. Okay, so it's a little trial and error here. I know I played this uh, hack before, but I haven't played it recently. So apparently, um, yeah, let's try to get there from Fuchsia, which means I have to go grab my uh, flyer. I don't really feel like walking all the way to Fuchsia. Uh, I'm going to leave Dustbuster in there temporarily, I swear. And, um, yeah, try to fly to Fuchsia City. Apparently I can't go, uh, west. Sorry, east, not west. Sometimes I get east and west confused. I'm a loser. Alright, so... Dustbuster back in the party. 
even though I'm probably going to have to use Beer again if I'm wrong. But for the off chance that um, I am supposed to go... Oh, where is it? <laughs> Maybe this is wrong, too. Maybe I should actually look up where I'm, I'm supposed to go before. Here we go. Alright, so let's try to go... Dang it. Let's try to go through here now. What's up? Oh, it's finally fit. Ah, so this is the way I'm supposed to go. See, I was right. I was right all along. The road work was finally finished, and now I can go down here. And there's... Ah, see, this is the problem with Super Repels. I always forget when they wear off, and then... I end up running into a random tentacle! Uh, apparently this swimmer is lousy at swimming, but he's going to fight me anyway. And here comes a sea dragon. A.K.A. sea dragon. Let's uh, just kind of kill it with some strength. And he's going to just agility to raise his speed or whatever, and then Twister, which is a terrible move. But apparently causes Dustbuster to flinch. I didn't even know Twister caused flinching. That's how bad of a move it is, I don't even know its effects. We are doing some damage to uh, Dustbuster here. Unfortunately, it's the part of the game that fur starts to show its, uh, well, wear and tear. Super cute, does stuff early in the game pretty nicely, but uh, now it's starting to uh, be outclassed. But I'm going to keep using it because it is the cutest darn little Pokemon ever. Um, so this is a tentacle, so I'm just going to kill it with Psychic because that seems like the ideal thing. And I, yeah, I, many, some of you might have noticed I'm not training Gyarados still level 62, but I anticipate that uh, Blaine should be able to uh, level up Gyarados nicely. So I'm just going to save it for him because he's probably just going to end up sweeping Blaine rather easily, which is worth a level, maybe two. And that Hydro Pump is going to not hurt me that much. Although he feels like wasting our time with a Hyper Potion, so let's just keep psychicking this stupid Tentacruel that has annoyingly high special defense or won't die to one Psychic. That is a dead Tentacruel. And Jerome is defeated. And he knew he wouldn't win, so why do people keep challenging me when they know they're gonna lose? Have I ever tried swimming at night? No, that just sounds like a bad idea. I mean, just think about it. Uh, it doesn't sound like a very smart idea there. I mean, you'd probably get lost pretty easily, especially in the ocean, and, you know, you probably one of those stories of people that swim off in the ocean and never come back. And he's going to use a Hyper Potion as Remoraid because Strength didn't quite do it. And it didn't quite do it again, but at least it's free leftover healing for me, so I guess I can't really uh, complain that much. Alright, so here comes another Cedra. Er, uh, yeah, stay in with Dustbuster. Dustbuster killed a Cedra last time, it can do it again. I believe in you, Dustbuster, and your epic cuteness. And that Hydro is going to find its mark, though, so... Ouch. Uh, somebody's going to comment, I can feel it. Somebody's going to be that guy and comment, Why are you using Dustbuster? It sucks. Because Dustbuster is the cutest Pokemon ever. And there's no debating that, so don't even try. I could probably find a um, more useful team member, but I can't find another Dustbuster tier team member. And Dustbuster is life. I mean, if life was a cute Pokemon. I mean, I don't know where it's going with that. Alright, so here we go, Route 20. Let's continue to fight every one of these trainers. Just a waste time. Just kidding. For the experience, of course. Uh, we, we do need some experience, because the game's difficulty starts to rack up around here. Um, again, as you can see, their levels are pretty close to mine, these wild trainers, so... These wild trainers, these uh, random trainers, so I probably should fight each one for the experience. And Dustbuster could use all the experience he can get its hands on, being a Dustbuster. Um, yeah, I guess I'm just gonna stay in with Dustbuster. Dustbuster can handle these Merrills, at least. You know, say what you want about Dustbuster, but it can handle under, you know, it can evolve, it can handle unevolved Pokemon. Although the rain is going to increase the power of that bubble beam, but it still does nothing. So see, the Dustbuster is the master of fighting under evolved Pokemon, not fully evolved. Which uh, trainers tend to use for some reason, even though they're level 61. Now, a Lapras is a different story. A Lapras is one of those Pokemon, and, um, yeah, there's the guy with the lawnmower again. Thanks, dude! Ruining my YouTube video. Um, but yeah. In the rain, I have 100% accuracy thunder, so that should be able to counter any annoyingness that Lapras has, and I even paralyzed it, and it got fully paralyzed. So, uh, some luck there, for once, and, uh, there we go, that's a dead Lapras. And just in the be just earlier in this video, I think I was complaining that I never get parahacks on thunder, but, um... Now, it's always a Catch-22 thing. You're always like, oh, I'm so unlucky all the time, except when I'm not. And it's how the players do things. The computer's cheating! Look at all these times the computer got lucky things, and they, uh, completely ignore when, uh, they get lucky. 
It's kind of funny in that way. Anyway, so I believe this is a uh, plane. Cinnabar Island Gym Leader. I like how it, the sign actually said. What does this sign say? What's up, buddy? Oh, sweet. That's what I wanted, and I didn't bring any burn heal. Darn it. Although, I don't really need any because I do have, um, do have full heals. And uh, since he's X4 Rikto Surf, I'm just going to stay with Dustbuster and kill it. And uh, now I'm going to do what I promised before and go into Ginger Carp. Even though Blaine has less of a team than I thought he did, so we're probably not even going... Well, I'm going to get one level, obviously, but... I'm going to get into the amount of levels I wanted. Either way, Magmar's obviously going to die in one hit to a waterfall. And, um, Ginger Carp's going to now level 63. And, uh, Rapidash. Here comes a Rapidash. And this one's also going to die. Goodbye, Blaine. Uh, it is actually kind of a disappointing, anticlimactic fight. Good game. And, uh, burned out, but I got a Volcano Badge. Hell yeah! And, uh, well, look, uh, someone just appeared there. What's up? Yeah, it's over already. Yeah, duh. Apparently he only had three Pokémon, and they were all pretty bad. Oh, Axel's here. What's up, buddy? Oh, wait, what the heck are we doing in here? I don't rem Oh. Um, apparently I wasn't paying attention. I had no idea we were supposed to go here. Oh, apparently it's payback time, too. From a Team Rocket member who has a Graveler. Well, so we got a gym leader fight, but now we have to fight Team Rocket again. So goodbye, Graveler. And Dustbuster's doing some work here. And, uh, yeah, let's go back into Ginger Carp, since we didn't get enough, uh, fire-type Pokemon action, uh, from the gym leader. We'll, we'll try to get it from, uh, these random grunts who have random Arcanize. Well, Arcanize seems like an odd Pokemon choice for a Team Rocket grunt. I don't think... Well, it's a good thing that they're upgrading their Pokemon, see? At least they're not using, um, not fully evolved Pokemons. And, uh, Waterfall is not a one-hit KO after the Intimidate. But it should also should be a... Uh, pretty solid uh, 2 8 KM. Look at this Arcanine's level. Level 65. I am now under-leveled. This is why you have to fight every trainer at, at this point in the game. And yeah, again, I have defeated you. How pathetic. And I'm gonna let, actually, uh, Gyarados be the front member of the party for a bit. Do I have any, like, now? Screw it. At this point uh, in the game, uh, items are a dime a dozen. I was going to look to see if I had any, like, super potions or whatever. And, uh, let's not go up there yet. Let's go in the direction that the, the game seems to want to take me. I don't want to get off track or anything. Although I have a feeling that I was supposed to go up there anyway at some point, but... Uh, whatevs. Okay, so, we double intimidate each other, and uh, I did not mean to go Zap Cannon, but I did, and uh, I hit, which is shocking. And, um, I really need to stop spamming down the A bar. <laughs> okay, then! I, I can take it! Never in one million years did I ever expect that. Um, hit twice in Zap Cannon accidentally. Um, having said that, let's actually move Zap Cannon so I don't accidentally use it. Although that was pretty epic. Although, of course, he's just going to use a... He just used a healing item. And that Arbok's just going to swallow whatever it has in its mouth. And um, I'm just going to get a couple Dragon Dances up. So now I'm at plus one attack and uh, plus two speed. And that should be enough to KO the uh, Arbok. And here comes Eradicate, which is another something I can one hit KO at this point, I have little doubt. Although it is a level 66 Eradicate, and of course I do not, and Super Fang is going to be annoying. Super Fang is going to have my HP, and that is just not cool, man. Uh, good thing that she is out of potions, however, so there we go. And Ginger Carp is now level 64, the level I promised before. And here comes a Weezing, which is something... Another thing I'm probably not going to be able to one hit KO, because Weezing has um, some annoying defense there. And yeah, I don't even 2 it KO, and he's gonna haze, and all stat changes were eliminated, you jerk! Let's go for another Dragon Dance. So I can, uh, finish it off. Uh, and I really shouldn't have. Okay, let's go into something that, uh, can, uh, hit it with a special move. And hopefully he won't use Destiny Bond. Do not use de da Why? Why, why you do this? Just, no. I don't want you to kill my Pokémon. Oh, screw it. Whatever. I am so done. Burninator, just take one for the team, I guess. What a jerk if he's jerks with Destiny Bond. Yeah, I just loves to spam it. I mean, Destiny Bond does have pretty low PP, so I could probably just end up stalling it, but... For the sake of not wasting... Dang. I'm 
misclicking like horridly. Not, not for the sake of not wasting all of our time. I'm just going to let uh, Bernadier take the bullet there and then heal. Eh, alright, let's see, what is this? A salt, a shoal salt. That would be uh, interesting if we weren't so late in the game that it's completely pointless. Because I have uh, pretty much left as many leftovers as I can possibly want. Oh, and I still have a repel up. I kind of assumed I didn't. There we go. I knew it was a little while since I last uh, did put up a repel. So now we have to explore this whole cave. But let's go uh, before we fight that. Oh man, really? I want to get that item. Do I just have to go back up? Okay. That's clever. I, that's clever right there. It makes you have to go up and down the ladder just to go get that item. Ah, so now we can fight you. So what are you doing here? Beat me and I might say. I was just planning to beat you, but if you're going to tell me all of your plans, that's cool too. And apparently this Team Rocket Grunt has a Dragonite. That's... I don't even know what to say. Let's go into Dustbuster, because I have some Ice Punch magic. And uh, Outrage is still going to sting even after the Intimidate, as one might expect from a Dragonite. Let's go for an Ice Punch, though, and apparently I outspeed the Dragonite? Uh, okay. And I freeze it! See, this is why Dustbuster stays in the party, because of epic clutch moments like that. Dustbuster is the definition of clutch, and I, d I don't care what anyone says. Dustbuster has done that more times than I can count. It might not be a strong Pokémon, but it's a Pokémon that has heart, and that's what matters. And here comes Tauros. And uh, let's go into Burninator to Burninate the Tauros. And he's going to get an Intimidate off me as well, so, um, yeah, Thrash is going to do some damage there, but let's just go for a Flamethrower. And, uh, yeah, so that's going to be a 2 8 KO on the Tauros. And he's going to continue thrashing at me, and that's going to sting, unfortunately, but not much you can do about that, I suppose. And they, uh, okay, he, she's going to talk. Oh, that's... Thank you for the insight, it's part of the boss's master plan. The boss ginger. The head ginger, look, she's a ginger too. Maybe it's like a ginger club now. Like Team Rocket is suddenly a, just a club that caters to gingers. That's, that's my guess. They're for ginger equal rights. We have to put down them down though. We can't let gingers have equal rights. That's just, that's just crazy talk. All right, so let's, uh, let's go for a dragon dance here. Into the Grimer, who probably can't do anything to me, and he's going to Acid Armor me. That's actually not good, because uh, that pretty much cancels out my Dragon Dance. I'll try to kill it before it can do that hit ever again. And, um, oh, it's going to Memento. That does something, right? Oh, that's the attack that um, kills itself just to lower my stats. But then, I because I have Switch on, which I really should turn off. It's kind of cheap, but at the same time, uh, it, it saves time, usually. I was just going to Switch out anyway. It's really a horrible move, and he's going to continue to Acid Armor, which is going to be annoying because Earthquake is a physical move, and yikes, that does nothing. Okay, let's go into Kissy. Hopefully he doesn't have, like, a move that raises special... Ow, that that will that will hurt. Oh no, that's right, because Sludge Bomb is special to this physical special split added in this. I thought that was going to be a physical Sludge Bomb, which would have killed Kissy, but because it was a special move, uh, Kissy can absorb that pretty nicely. Let's fall down this hole. Oh, do I really have to solve the Seaform Island thing. Apparently they're doing some kind of evil ginger ritual. Like in that one South Park episode. Uh, and there's a Magmite, and I'm just going to intimidate it. Hmm. And we're kind of running out of time, too, so... I... Oh, Zap Cannon, yikes. Uh, he taught it a TM move. Interesting. This must have been the guy that uh, robbed the, um... What is it? Robbed the uh, power plant. Yeah, he must have stole a Zap Cannon TM as well. But anyway, that is a dead Magneton, so... Anyway, uh, as I was saying, we're running out of time for today, so I guess we're gonna have to end on another cliffhanger. What are these gosh darn Ginger Team Rocket members up to? I think we'll find out next time of Killer Nacho's Liquid Crystal playthrough. So stay tuned. Bye.